one of the um, elements in this book is how the pros judge brisket. Can you talk to us a bit about wh what they're looking for? And Well, absolutely. So first of all, let's talk about doneness. Okay, right. so, and every pro you meet, will swear that he never uses a thermometer, that they don't even own thermometers. Meanwhile, you go to Aaron Franklin's there, the, the, probing with these uh, uh, bestick thermometers in every possible cor corner right. of the brisket. But um, you're looking for, uh, it's been described sometimes as it sort of jiggles like jello. Right. That's one, meat one jello, test. Right. Meat jello, meat jello. <laughs> but a couple tests. So thermometer, 205 degrees. Um, if you're using the, with the Ben method, you slide a insulated gloved hand under the brisket, lift it up, and if it droops like a sad mus mustache, right. you're in business. In terms of judging the quality of a brisket, so I mean, first of all, you look at it, it should be almost jet black. It should have on the outside, they call, we, we call it a bark, and it's a sort of semi-crusty, salty, smoky, crisp layer on the surface. Well, right. Then under, just underneath, if you've done it right, you'll find a subcutaneous layer of a sort of a reddish pink right. that goes from anywhere from an eighth to about a half an inch uh, into the meat. That's the smoke ring, a naturally occurring chemical reaction between the nitrous oxide and smoke and the CO2 and smoke and the hemoglobin in the meat. Huh. Uh, the meat itself should be tender, tender enough to, you, you hold it up, you can pull it apart, right. but it should not fall apart, okay? Um, you taste it, it should be luscious, it should be moist, you press your fork against it, you see the juices come to the surface, uh, you bite into it, it should be tender, but so still, you know, it's not baby food. Right. 